Hey Nidhi, welcome to Just Like That. Hey Sahil, thank you for having me. So Nidhi, you've been doing some very interesting work with Onchin. Tell us a little more about it. Yeah, I've been excited about the idea of working in this space for a very long time. And conscious really just means being aware and uh, you know, figuring out who you are and working from there. Interesting. So, you know, this is a question that I've been personally juggling with for a very long time, right? When you get into those zones uh, after a couple of drinks and you sit back and you ask yourself, who am I? What am I doing? Why am I doing what I'm doing? Does really the whole concept of awareness help you answer some of those questions? Yeah, absolutely. I think you need to be high on life really to kind of really get an answer. I think on drinks you can you can possibly get to the question, but uh, being high on life is where you'll find the answer, I think. And um, yeah, it does. I think being uh, being aware and finding your core definitely is. Um, is very close to how you're going to find your purpose, what excites you and gets you up in the morning, what is it that drives you, you know, those kind of questions are where, you know, the secrets of um, your happiness and success are hidden, is my understanding. Mm. Mm. But many times, you know, we really go out trying to find validation for who we are and we have conversations with people to say, is this okay? Does this look fine? Uh, are the answers really within us or is validation okay? There's nothing wrong with uh, having validation as a part of your personality. That's such a lovely question, Sahil. And I think um, a very pertinent one because we haven't been taught anything else, isn't it? We've been taught to be validated from everybody else and our definition of who we are is, is a resounding echo of the people that surround us at that point in time. And I think, uh, uh, you know, consistently having to collect that and create an insight for yourself about who you are is probably not the best way, right? Like they say, data is good, but it it's, uh, depends on the perspective of, of the user to really, re to really understand where the insights are. And that's right. The insights are really within us. At the end of the day, it's how you look at the incoming data rather than letting the data decide who you are. So, Maybe what's very interesting, uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, so yes, you're right, you know, it is within us and it's more a matter of discovering who we are rather than uh, pursuing a collective understanding of the people around us. Hmm. But did you hear the point that really comes to my mind is going out is a lot more easier than going within, right? You can go out, meet a couple of friends, have a nice evening. But if you really have to take feedback and sit with yourself, forget feedback, even for that matter, just to figure out who you are, what's your purpose. A lot of people just shrug it away to say, oh, this is too much of philosophy, this is too much of gyan. Uh, but why is it that going within is a lot more difficult? And that's probably because we haven't pursued it, right? Is there anything in the world that we've pursued and not been able to achieve, right? So you, you, we can look at where we are in terms of colonizing Mars. I think if we can go like thousands and thousands of miles into space, I think we can do a few, uh, you know, inches into ourselves very easily. It's just a matter of intent and a matter of finding the right direction, I think. You know, the, the right narrative. And you really, yeah, and do you really prescribe this as something essential to do? Is it important? How Absolutely. does it help? Oh no, I, I would be the kind of person who would be on the rooftop shouting about this if I could. Right. So I would be like, if you haven't found yourselves, right, uh, the, everything else is, is a useless game. You are, you're really just you know, running the treadmill. There isn't much there. So, yeah, I mean, for, if you ask me my opinion, I mean, there isn't anything else that you should pursue rather than pursuing an understanding of who you are and make sure whatever it is that you're doing is coming from an innate understanding of what you want to deliver on the planet while you're here, as opposed to somebody else's understanding of what makes you successful, makes you attractive, makes you uh, appreciated. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's become very important with every passing day because otherwise you're just living, right? You're, you're just existing. Yeah. You don't really come alive, but you yeah. really come alive yeah. when you do things that you know why you're doing them. Yeah. Right. You, you you just uh, caught on so well to 
um, what I was saying here. I think I keep saying that a lot. I said it's not important just living through life. It's very important being alive through it, right? And I think that's where you know um, where I find my my best uh, space, right? Knowing whether I'm alive in that moment or not is that something that I want to do? And if I'm in it, how can I make it a little bit more alive? So so yes. Yes, definitely. If, if there was a way, and there is, and we're working on it as part of consciousness to find a structured way for people to to feel more alive, right? Starting from their physical environment and and the food that they eat, so which is the first leg of conscious, to really looking at how can their minds and emotions be in a better space, and then finally looking at their social and their spiritual quotient to say, okay, what can we do there to you know anchor them in the right space in the long run. So yeah, yeah. I think a lot of this is deep rooted in very simple, basic stuff, right? Go back to your childhood. You you went out and played cricket, or you played some games indoor, outdoor with a couple of friends, and that was okay. And then you went and met someone, and you came back really happy. And then mom and dad asked you, "Why is my son or why is my daughter looking so happy?" Right? Yeah. Is it really because of the kind of vibes or the sharing that someone really came alive? in that moment or touched a part of you that maybe others don't end up touching i think it has a lot to do with being in the moment less to do with what you're surrounded by but being in that moment where you feel it's okay and you're not judged you're okay to take part in it you're enjoying that activity so much i think that's to me 80% of finding that sweet spot in yourself because uh, really at the end of the day you know you you know how many mondays you get up hoping to uh, you know f- find purpose in in that um you know day and then only to realize that it's really within you if you're feeling good and and you have a good day it's fine if you're feeling bad and you're having a good day nothing can change it so 80% of of that i think is within you and then 20% of that yes is um you know who it is who surrounded you when you exhibited good energy did they put cold water on it or did they encourage it right so yes That's, yeah. that's there but very little would you also agree nidhi that 80% of what stops us from being present in the moment are distractions uh i think 80% in the it's, it's like an it's like an iceberg right so at the bottom of it i think 80% of it when you are ignorant is the environment and then as you go to the tip 80% of that is you right you decide whether you're going to be distracted or not as you become more aware so and then 20% of that is really the rem- remaining of the environment and the energies surrounding you but it beautiful. depends which scale you are really so so beautifully put i think nidhi but tell us one last question as we get off this just like that conversation to say how do you really build heightened self awareness I think the first and the most important logical answer would be meditation. It is like it, it is it, it to me it is one of the biggest tools I have had in my life that tell me okay um snap out of it for a bit and just go down to who you are and then from come out from there ra- rather than from an assimilated amalgamation of what you've just been through and come to the real understanding of who you are and then pick yourself up again. So I think uh, that works a lot for me. and i highly recommend everybody you know tries it i mean what what harm do you have and you have so many tools you have a, a a mobile that you can't sleep without it you have another tool in your arsenal that can take you within you should try that absolutely i think this is a wonderful conversation just true to the name just like that nidhi uh, i think candid conversations with minds on things that matter Thank you so much for joining us on just like that. My pleasure, just like that. Thanks. <laughs>